Ciao ragazzi, my name's The Speedy Guidi. In today's episode, I'm gonna teach you guys how to drive a paddle shifting gearbox. If you're in a rush, go to this number below and it'll take you straight to the part that you need to get to. First question everyone asks me, Lorenzo, how do you drive all these fast cars? It must be so difficult. Fact is, these cars are so incredibly easy to drive. Your grandma could drive them. So I'm gonna take you through the steps on how to drive it. Let's do it! But first, a quick history lesson. Why did manufacturers replace manual gearboxes in sports cars? Simple, paddle shifting gearboxes are so much quicker. For one, they can shift in milliseconds. Much, 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 much faster than anyone could ever do with a manual. Second, they allow the driver to keep her or his hands on the wheel at all times, allowing for more controlled and focused high-speed driving. So the car that I'm in right now is a 2019 Ferrari Portofino. All Ferraris from about 2000 on from the F355 have paddle shifting gearboxes. Some have manuals, but, so this will go for basically every Ferrari, every modern Ferrari, Lamborghini, uh, what have you. So to get into drive, you obviously turn the car on, you put your foot on the brake, and you click the up paddle shifter. The up paddle shifter will put the car into first gear. Now to get into neutral again, you hold both the up and down paddle shifter simultaneously. To get into reverse, it doesn't matter if you're in first or neutral, you just push the R button down here and it'll get you straight into reverse. Now to get the car into park, it's really easy. There's either a pull parking lever over here, or if you're in Lamborghini or whatever, sometimes there's a pull button over here under your right elbow. But you can just simply turn the car off in a paddle shifting gearbox and the car will automatically lock. Just make sure that if you're on a hill, when you open up the door, that you see a park sign come on the dashboard. Otherwise, your car will roll away. So don't be intimidated by these other buttons down here. One is auto. That puts the car in automatic, obviously. And to get out of auto, you just click the up shift paddle, the down shift paddle while you're driving, and it'll automatically go into manual shifting mode where you have to control the gears. And then also down here, there is PS. In Ferrari terms, that is performance start. So it's basically a launch control. In other cars, there'll be a launch button or something else, but that's strictly for racing or for doing hooligan stuff, so don't push that. So as you guys can see, this is a very easy process. These cars look intimidating, but they're really, really easy to drive. The toughest part is getting the throttle ready and the proportions when you're driving this thing is a little different than other cars, but otherwise, super, super easy. You don't have to be scared. Now, to watch other of my videos, make sure to click the links in the description. I have a podcast called Coming in Clutch. And uh, comment below if you guys want more tutorials on how to drive cars. I can do a manual. I can do uh, various other things like Lamborghinis, Porsches, because every car has its little quirks and features that you might be expecting. Thanks guys for watching. See you next time. Hi everybody, make sure to like, share and subscribe. This is my real voice. I'm actually from Australia, not America. Thanks.